You want to start a gaming career in streaming or you just want to capture your favorite device? Then the whole Plaza video capture card USB 3.0 might be the right thing for you. So let's take a closer look and let's get started. So here we have the pretty unspectacular packaging. As you can see, it says just video capture 4K, USB 3.0 video capture, and the same basically on the other side. So no other branding here on this one. And it's pretty easy packaged up. As you can see here, we have the card itself, which is uh, as big as a smartphone in the old days, I would say. Uh, fits in the hand nicely just the 4k usb 3.0 video capture ultra hd we see some power leds and some uh, signal leds here we have input uh, microphone and uh, headphone jack and of course hdmi and on the other side we have outputs so we have hdmi output this is for power and this is where, what goes into your computer uh, for capturing. So this one cannot capture directly onto USB pen drive or something like this. It needs a computer and uh, you can capture this then with a capture software on your computer. I think it will just register as UVC device, universal video controller. And then you have the possibility on all operating systems basically to yeah, capture something from it. So this is what I want to do now. And uh, before that, let's take a look what comes inside of the box. We have a USB 3.0 cable to connect it to a computer. And this is a USB type C to USB cord. This is for power. So there's no uh, kind of um, power brick or HDMI cable. And here we have the instruction manual. HD capture series two in one. As you can see here, 4K 60 Hertz input and output is possible and capture is possible in 1080p 60 Hertz. So it says 4K Ultra HD, but apparently it can only capture uh, up to 1080p 60 Hertz and can output 4K again, but not capture it. And yeah, this is a small little booklet that comes with it that shows you everything and here in the specifications, you can see as well, a recording is up to 60 frames per second, 60 FPS at 1080p. And you see the various different options here that this device, the exact specifications of the device itself. And I will try this out, of course, and I will show you how this works. There are some instructions here for various operating systems as well. You can, I think, even capture with VLC and other capture cards uh, that are supported and capture software that are supported with this. So it is meant for gaming, meant for yeah, recording something from your phone, for example. Uh, so it's compatible with Windows, Android, Linux and Mac OS, which is pretty cool. So let's give it a look. So the ingredients that we have is first of all our capture card with the inputs and outputs and then what I want to do is to use this USB-C hub which has an HDMI out and I attach it to my MatePad 11 which has a nice little output so I have to turn it around and here we go MatePad 11 attach it here to have the USB-C output to HDMI and then I take one of the shortest HDMI cables I have, which is this one here, a um, very strong one, and connect this output here from the tablet to the input of the HDMI capture card. Here as well, put it in. And I connect the output of the card to the monitor that I have in the back. I can show you this one as well. 
this one here so I connect this to the back I have a cable here for this as well and just connect it like so and the only thing that the capture card now needs for projecting the output is a little bit of power so I have the power cable here from the original um, cable that came with it plug it in here and we should see first on the tablet wireless projection and I say agree and then the power and the signal turn on the signals here as you can see here the lights and we get a on the screen we get the output of the tablet as you can see here in real time basically so this is working fine the next thing that we want to do now is to connect this usb free cable that we have we want to connect this one to the laptop in the back as you can see here so i have to do a bit of cable management here get this maybe the tablet to this side the capture card here and the laptop i want to put in here and as the usb cable that came with the device is a bit of short i have to move everything and get this plugged in here and get this plugged into the laptop this output or input here on the side usb and if i turn it around this should work now and we are good to go so i can turn the laptop on as well and use the laptop now as input device and i can use a software called obs for input there we have it i can also use vlc and others but obs works the best and what i have to do is here configure the input device say i want to have a usb 3.0 device let me show you this on screen so we have the obs here and here i have the input device i choose it uh, the usb 3 device i can choose uh, i have to choose the emulated one to have the full 60 frames per second so the resolution and yeah the the bit rate and uh, i leave like it is and then i can also add a pulse audio device and if you go in here you can see that eventually on the top there that i chose also the usb capture card as input device so i get input by the um via the capture card as well so i can input the sound from the capture card as well then the other thing that i can set up here in the uh, options there in the settings is of course the option for the capturing so this system is now in german but in general it would work like this and you can capture you can have like the uh, scaled capture here scaled resolution and set it also to 1080p and you can change the frame rate to uh, something else like for example the 60 frames per second and then hit apply and hit ok and the only thing that you have to do is now start the recording then if you want to record something and yeah we will do this now let me zoom out and try to show you everything all of the three monitors at the same time i can now plug in by using my microphone currently for recording via the camera that you see right now or the output from but i could also plug it in here and then i have live capture also via the microphone uh, from here from the capture card as well but i will not do this right now just for showing you how this will work i will start asphalt 9 and this will take a while for loading but then we can see if the 60 frames per second are really captured and you can see it's on all three monitors basically also 
at the same time there's a slight delay on the computer one as you can see here uh, let me cancel out of here and we just want to play music is also running i have it turned down right now but on the capture later when i start recording we can also then hear the audio and hopefully i will be able to put my overlay over it so let's just start playing and i hit the record button here and it is recording now on obs and should record in 1080p 60 frames per seconds and it should be fluid as you can see here the animation should be fluid as well and no skip frames hopefully and yeah we'll try to play with the tablet now and you will have like a little bit of uh, you know then a little bit of how this should work and yeah let's change it it's a little bit easy you have a keyboard here to control it so don't wonder don't wonder that why there are no touch controls i'm using the keyboard for control and yeah pretty much i think i will win this race yeah so this is how you win a race first place and yeah it recorded everything perfectly i would suggest you saw probably the recording already and i click on stop capture and this is how you capture a game for example also playing it you can do this with your console as well i just did it with a tablet here and the cool thing is like you can also of course do the same thing for recording stuff from your tablet as well if you want to demonstrate something and the tablet doesn't have a recording function or you want to do some speed tests where you don't want a screen recorder in the background running which uh, could like influence the speed test a bit and you will want still to have a recording this tablet is outputting not full 1080p as you can see there's some black stripes left and right so this is why it uh, looks a bit awkward here uh, because it has like a different resolution it's not a 16 by 9 but i think it's 16 by 10 format of yeah 16 by 10 format i think uh, yeah this is what you can expect in terms of uh, quality when recording via uh, a tablet a game for example and i think 1080p 60 frames per second is fine enough besides gaming what you would like to do sometimes as well maybe is recording some videos some screencasts or just recording yourself with a nice camera i have one small camera here sony xdr 3000 one of the best little pocket cameras that you can get anyway you can um, just replace this of course with a big camera that you want to use that maybe has a recording limit of 15 or 10 minutes only or half an hour and if you don't like this what you can do most of those cameras they offer an hdmi output so here this xdr 3000 for example has is it hdmi yes has a mini hdmi micro hdmi actually output here that you can also attach via a cable to your uh, screen to your video capture card and or this video capture adapter usb free video capture and this is what i want to do i have the output exactly like last time so power then this output to the monitor and the usb one to here to the laptop so what i want to do is uh, use this cable which is a micro hdmi to normal hdmi get this off and we just attach this here to the to the camera and put it in position the camera somehow and put this cable into the input and now we have to of course turn the camera on and the camera give us, gives us some input as well which is nice so we now have our picture here on the big monitor and we can see us here as well you can see my uh, recording setup i'm using here my microphone attached to my mate 40 pro which is also pretty cool and what i can do now is of course adjust the camera to be like a bit up you can see me and uh, is it going a bit and then 
adjust it like this and then you can see me here and uh, what I can do now of course is recording again and it should record also with my voice fine so let's record here so now it's recording from the Sony HDR uh, the XDR 3000 camera that is here on sitting on the tripod it's in the narrow view it has also super wide angle view as well and uh, yeah you can record in 1080p 60 frames per second maximum I think it is now set to 1080p 30 frames per second which is the default that I had set in the camera itself and you can change it of course in the camera and you can also change it in the recording of OBS as well and yeah this is the recording setup that you can use and you can record now indefinitely until your battery runs out of the laptop or the hard disk runs full or the battery runs out of the camera so I think you can connect also the camera to USB to power it always on and so you have like for scriptures or for long sessions a video recording solution that way you can also use your DSLR which or your DSLM which has not the capability to continuously record longer than half an hour internal you just externally record it on a hard disk or something like this attached to your laptop so this would be possible as well and this is what you can get here from this camera for instance yeah then i stop the recording and the, the, this is basically what you can do with your video capture card and i think this video capture is pretty awesome right now i for games you can record everything so I didn't have any delays or lags of course the OBS you can uh, you saw maybe some artifacts this has something to do with OBS itself you can go into the settings of OBS and then of course change the bitrate so and you have some filters here as well that you can do but you can of course change also the bitrate for recording to make it a bit higher frame rate uh, higher bitrate I mean so I think by default it's like the YouTube friendly uh, 8000 uh, or 6000 or something like this. So you might see some artifacts here and there. If you want to have higher quali quality, you can of course change it in your recording software like here in OBS, uh, what I did. So I tested it with OBS. I also tested it with VLC, but VLC has like this old webcam like 15 frames per second mode. So it's very slow in VLC for some reason, if you know how to deal with VLC, how to configure it there. You can also use VLC, of course, for recording if you want to. And uh, otherwise, uh, all those who detect UVC class video capture cards don't have a big problem. So it's running fine, as you can see here on Linux, and it would run fine on macOS and on Windows as well. So this is the, let me just unplug it quickly to show it to you. This is the USB 3.0 video capture. The 4K and Ultra HD here is only the pass-through. So if you have a 4K signal in here, it will come out 4K here as well. Uh, here as well. Uh, but it will not come here to the computer. It will only come in 1080p 60 frames per second maximum. So this is maybe a bit misleading with this 4K Ultra HD because it only supports the pass-through, not the recording with it. So this is basically everything for this little video about the 4K uh, USB 3.0 video capture. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in this, I will put a link there uh, down there in the descriptions and you can also purchase it. Uh, just uh, as a warning, we I read some people have problems that oh, it doesn't have power. If you only plug in the power, just like I did earlier, you will see the light flashing. This means it's working. It doesn't turn on because you have to have a signal in and a signal out and then it will turn on or a signal in at least you have to have a signal in, and then it will turn on otherwise it will stay off in this mode because it's yeah not using any power it's not yeah nothing is connected here so it doesn't have to run all the time so uh, does it get warm i had it now plugged in for an hour or so no no issue at all so it is like it can be get, getting a bit warmer then you can feel that it's working but it's not too bad at all and uh, for a gaming session yeah maybe three to four hours after this maybe you should break take a break but this is yeah the usual time i would say otherwise i didn't have any big problems with this uh, video capture and uh, yeah 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some questions, you can ask them in the comment section. That's everything for this video, and until the next time, bye.